Jack, heard you walked right up into a whole thing. Take up a position at the table, Initiate. There's a lot to talk about. Any of these possible font shapes look familiar? None, sir. Sounds like Zendara filled you in, sir, but I've got about a million questions. Story time, Jack. And I used to really love story time. The Shrouded Realm is a world of raw, untempered magic. A magic so formless and wild, it's impossible to master. Yeah, I think I've been there. Then the Pentasad came to that world and created the fonts. Five great anchors that connected the Shrouded Realm to Avium. The ley lines spread out from these fonts, traveling through both worlds, turning the Shrouded Realm's magic into a resource we could use. If someone could capture the power of a font, they'd control magic in a way that no Magnus has before. Like a living ley line tower, capable of drawing magic from the very source, capable of even redirecting it away from other Magni. Sandrak has done exactly that. We believe he's in possession of a Thrata Kull, a binding stone, an artifact that can control the fonts. So that's what I saw the hand pull out of the ruins. That's right. With it, Sandrak will eventually be able to block our access to magic completely. Then the Everwar is over. Over? As in he takes over Lucium? As in he takes over everything. Sir, respectfully and whatever, you're wrong. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh boy. You said it yourself. Magic is a resource. Just because Sandrak absorbed a font or whatever doesn't mean his power is endless. It's just that it's probably ginormous. If he found a way to use the Binding Stone, so can we. We can take it back and then... Make yourself at home. I bring you good news, sister. Peace is near. Allow me to let you witness it. A small kindness between friends. If you would have it. We were just discussing what the best response would be to your desecration of the fonts. Had you yet concluded you have none? Let us meet at Nosea to discuss the terms of your surrender. I hear now you speak for your king. So there should- <clears throat> Chat! <clears throat> the boy does not know me. You have my word. The traditions of Aristea will be upheld. Without violence. I see a Lucium that genuinely survives this part of history. Well, that was horrible. Course of action? Devin, make sure every last trace of them is really gone. Zandara, I need you to speak to the Watch Commanders. We're meeting Sandrak at Nosea. We're outgunned. Not outfought. Not yet. Jack, let's talk. Is Zandara right? We're going to actually walk into Sandrak's trap. It's not a trap. Sandrak fashions himself after the nobility of Aristea. He'll honor the tradition of Nosea as neutral ground. Sir, I know you don't plan to surrender. Not even a little bit. We'll take him by surprise, hit him with everything we got, and hope the power of that binding stone of his is found wanting. Okay, so it's our trap then. The Immortals can't let Sandrak take control of magic, Jack. We have to take our chances. Speaking of the Immortals and Sandrak, and Sandrak having been an Immortal and you never telling me, your fellow Immortal... I figured this was coming. There's not a lot of time here. I had a right to know. You recruited me the day Sandrak destroyed my home. I've been fighting against Rasharn ever since you told me. What difference would it have made? I don't know. How do you benefit by constantly keeping secrets from me? 
You could have told me about the fonts long before any of this. You could have told me how using magic destroys the world before training me. I you joined the army, Jack, not the academy. You only needed to know what helped you in the field. I don't feel that's a good enough answer, sir. I'm sure you can live with it for the time being. If we survive Nosia, we can talk about it again. Now, a few pieces need to fall into place for this ambush to work. I need you to take this to Captain Selko. A portal stone? Any message to go along with it? Selko will know what to do. You'll find him in Lordsfell along with a battalion of our soldiers. Understood. I'll head out now. I don't think I have a spell for that. So, uh, Kirkin didn't say what that thing does. Probably better you don't know, sir. Is it, though? If you got captured. Sure, sure. It's just... If I knew the whole plan, it could be helpful, since I'm, like, part of the plan. Am I right? You have a point. You aren't going to tell me, are you? Nope. Great. See you around, Captain. Jack, Kirkin's asking for an update. I delivered the portal stone to Captain Selko. What's next? Rendezvous with the rest of us at Nosea. Our parlay with Sandrak is imminent. Parlay? What? Never heard anyone actually use that word. It's the nerves. Uh-huh. See you soon.
That's no see up ahead. Game face, Jack. Can I call dibs? Not the time, Jack. So, what's the plan? To know, this all feels a bit improvisational, if I'm being honest. You bring no banner? Didn't feel the need. <laughs> I held a small hope you might see reason. Yet you remain the same Kirkham that made me abandon the Immortals years ago. Obsessed with victory. Stranger to compromise. Your eye ever bent towards the world's ruin. And you just want to save it. I can. With this. Its mastery over the fonts means I can end the war. You mean win the war. By turning the rest of us defenseless. In our every meeting, a yipping pup. Jack's right, though. You're not worthy of that power, Sandrak. Your airships bomb the free cities of the East and then wonder why they resist you now? The last order that surrendered to Rasharn, you burned their ambassadors alive. If my eye is ever bent towards the world's ruin, it's because I'm trying to stop the man causing so much of it. Please, don't make me do this. Captain Selko. You went mad. You didn't abandon us. You were exiled. And I'm still paying the price for not killing you. Remember, this blood is on your hands. It's the wound! He's moving it! We have to go! Now! Fall back!
Devin. Jack, glad you're on your feet. That could have been so much worse. It took ages, but Zandara was finally able to dig you out of the rubble. Oh, no, not her. I rather would have died. I'm never living that down. Nope. Never. How many did we lose? Considering Sandrak just dropped a city into the wound, surprisingly few. But enough to have made his point. Kirkhan's left for Lavenry to talk with the King. He wants a full surrender after Nosea. There's even talk that Kirkhan's emergency powers may be rescinded. So who's in charge? Uh, Zendara. And I'll warn you, she's in a bit of a mood. Kind of on brand for her. I heard that! Whoops. Meet us in the war chamber, Jack. We've come to the conclusion that we're in desperate need of a plan. Kirkin may be gone, but our job's still the same. Eliminating Sandrak and his hold over the fonts. There are five, right? He can't have them all yet. We may not know what the Binding Stone does or how Sandrak uses it, but we can try and keep him away from the rest if all of us just... What? The fonts are hidden from us, Jack. Invisible. Buried in the liminal spaces where the borders between Avium and the Shrouded Realm are weakest. We only know the location of two. The Palathon is actually built around one. And the other is in the Tower of Masks in Risharn. Which means Sandrax already used the Binding Stone to absorb its power. We have to assume he has. Technically, we now know the location of three fonts. But the one in the Pale Forest is, well, you saw what happened to it. So that leaves the last two, and only Sandrak knows where they are. Fine. To pin that, we concentrate on the Binding Stone instead. We know where that is. We just need to learn how to shut it off. And fast. Not necessarily. According to my research, a Thradical takes a huge toll on its possessor. Sandrak will have to rest before doing another stunt like that. We may have a little time. Which leads us to former Grand Magnus, Thaddeus. Kirkin's predecessor, now in exile. The oldest of us that still lives. By all accounts, he was an expert on Aristea. If there's a weakness to the very Aristane Binding Stone, he'll know about it. In theory. Mmm, sticky wicket, the situation with Thaddeus. That's not important. Kind of feels like it is. What Zendara means to say is it doesn't matter that Thaddeus hates the Immortals and everything we stand for because you'll undoubtedly figure out a way to convince him to help us. And a bonus potential setback because the universe is cruel. Like the remaining fonts, we also don't know where Thaddeus is. His last known location was the Sky Islands of Oriman, digging through the archives at the Library of Akoth. Okay, then what are we waiting for? I go to Oriman, make nice with a friendly librarian. Actually, getting to Oriman is difficult, Initiate. You're gonna need to learn how to ride a ley line. Devin, you're running support. Walk Jack through what he needs to do to get airborne. Ready when you are, Jack. 